Hey everyone, in this video, we remember some celebrities who died on October 17. How people die remains in the memory of those who live on. You may comment below with your favorite celeb. So let's start the video. Danielle Dariuz, born on May 1, 1917, and died on October 17, 2017. Danielle Yvonne Marie Antoinette Dariux was a French singer, dancer, and actress who worked on stage, TV, and in movies. Since 1931, when her film career began, she has been in over 110 movies. Her eight-decade film career made her one of the most iconic figures in French cinema. In 1985, she was given an honorary Kessar Award for her many years of hard work in the movie business. She is still working after eight decades in the business. In 2007, she did the voice of the main character's grandmother in the animated movie Persepolis, which is about how the Islamic revolution affects a girl's life as she grows up in Iran. Danielle Dariu died on October 17, 2017, five months after she turned 100 in May 2017. Her death was caused by problems from a fall. Sylvia Crystal born on September 28, 1952, and died on October 17, 2012. Sylvia Maria Crystal was a Dutch actress and model who appeared in over 50 films, starting in the early 1970s when she played Emmanuel for Just Jekin. Sylvia Crystal became well-known all over the world. She went on to star in two more sequels. She has been in a number of European movies, the most famous being Julia, 1974, in which she played the title role. She moved to Hollywood in 1979 and got her first role in the Concorde, Airport 79, which was made by Jennings Lang. Lang also cast her in the 1980 comedy, The Nude Bomb. Sadly, on October 18, 2012, at the age of 60, Sylvia Crystal passed away peacefully in her sleep from cancer. Frederick Chopin, Born on March 1, 1810, and died on October 17, 1849. Frédéric Chopin was a Polish-French romantic composer and pianist. He is best known for his piano concertos and solo piano works. Chopin is considered one of the best tone poets because he had a vivid imagination and was a very skilled artist, even though he only wrote piano pieces, many of which were short. When he was just seven years old, he had his first piece published, and a year later, he was doing performances. By 1832, he had relocated to Paris, where he became well-known as both a pianist and a piano teacher. His compositions for the piano had a significant impact. Tennessee Ernie Ford, born on February 13, 1919, and died on October 17, 1991. Tennessee Ernie Ford, whose real name was Ernest Jennings Ford, was a popular American singer, television personality, and actor in the 1950s and 1960s. His songs spanned the genres of country and Western, pop, and gospel. In 1951, thanks to songs like Mule Train and Shotgun Boogie, he had already achieved widespread recognition. His songs, 16 Tons, and Ballad of Davy Crockett were crossover successes, and he became a regular performer at the Grand Ole Opry. He shifted his focus to gospel music, and his 1957 album, Hymns, was a huge hit. He kept making albums well into the 70s. Janice Rule, born on August 15, 1931, and died on October 17, 2003. Janice Rule, an actress with a wide range, was born on August 15, 1931, in Norwood, Ohio. In 1951, Janice made her debut in the star-studded film Goodbye, My Fancy. In the 1958 comedy Bell Book and Candle, she played James Stewart's love interest competitor and was ultimately driven away by the witch Ken Novak. In the premiere season of the groundbreaking science fiction show The Twilight Zone in 1959, Janice played the character of Helen Foley. Janice Rule's acting career covered a wide range of genres and feelings, from science fiction to comedy to playing free-spirited women to playing strong women. Thank you for watching our video and remembering those celebrities who have passed. You may share the video with your family and friends. 
please subscribe to our channel to continue receiving videos like this one.